Okay, so we are going to discuss about package development for more flexible releases. I've touched a bit from the previous section about using scratch orgs. So let's do an example to make this uh, more easy to understand. Back to our car example. Say we are developing a project that involves building a car, something like that. So let's see the model X here. Okay, so pretend we have a team of developers. This is a pretty complex project, right? So I want a particular developer to focus on the frame. Even the frame have multiple parts, right? So let's uh, assign Joe to focus on the front impact protection package. So Joe has developed a package that focus on the front impact protection. And Jane has to focus on the side impact protection. And then Bob focus on the wheels, develop a wheels package. And then um, Rose will focus on the doors, like the Falcon wing doors, the back door that can open like that. And then what else? And the sensors, like Ruth focus on the sensors here, the 360 sensors. That's the package, right? So back to here, we are going to assign those people their own packages to develop on their own scratch orgs, right? So, and then you can deploy all of them into one org or one instance to test everything out. So if Joe, I forgot the names, okay? <laughs> so the made up names. If Joe, for example, or John, um, make some changes for the front impact protection, right? He was in charge of the front impact protection already. So he can just develop a new release and then push on to the test org, so to speak, whatever changes. So it's compartmentalized, compartmentalized, okay? So everything has their own section, right? So I hope that make more sense. So the more complicated or complex the project is, it make more sense to um, use multiple containers for the packages. So for example, one developer focus on this particular functionality of the project just like the car example, okay? I don't have to repeat the example. So what is the source of truth? Your VCS or your Virgil version control system is the source of truth. That's the latest um, uh, packages combined together. So you can check. And then you can say goodbye to tracking setup changes manually because everything is tracked, okay? Each package runs its own race because whoever is focused on here can just keep focusing on this package. They don't have to mind all the other stuff that's not related to his own assignment, his own project there. Side impact, the one who's focused on sensors can focus on the sensors, making it better and making it way better. Like that, pretty cool. And yeah, they don't have to keep asking John about the front impact and stuff, right? So please um, read through the stories or the examples at your own time. And now let's do the quiz. When using the package development model, which metadata changes do you need to track manually? Changes to components not yet supported by source tracking. Yeah, that's the answer. What is a key benefit of a scratch org 
it never expires it does expire you can share its definition file with others all right i think that's it okay i will see you on the next section where we talk more about the application life cycle but it's hands on and see what's going on bada bing bada boom woohoo new badge hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the salesforce app exchange and do yourself a favor like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it don't take my word watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself bada bing bada boom